I am hopeful that Robin will get a job. She has been looking. I'm just going, please help her to see what value I am with this family. Right now, if you were to take Christy and Mary or Janelle or Cody out of their group, they would miss that person. I want to get to that point. What's up, you guys? It's Mary. Me, watch us like, share, subscribe, and comment. Down below, y'all, today we are going to be talking about Sister Wives, you guys, and we are going to be talking about the, um, what is it? The lie that Robin continued to tell Janelle when she first came into the family. And that lie was about her getting a job. I mean, I feel like we all know that Robin never had any intention to get a job. No. But I feel like... She was just giving false hope. Yeah, and then also the whole thing about how... I mean, I know Christine sat down there and lied because she was still kissing um, Cody's derriere. Yeah. But she was talking about how, oh, you know, Robin, she freed me of my responsibilities. Even Gwen was like, what responsibilities? <laughs> Because she was like, well, I want to, and then Ron was like, well, I want to be seen as valuable in this family, you know. Right. Hopefully, they one you'll see my value. Because but you wanted like to, one. If, if they took out any one of the other wives, that they will be missed. Yeah. But if she was removed, no one will miss her. Because she just came. They were, they were functioning quite well before you arrived. I know, but then you so, ruined everything. Yeah. But it was like she had all these lies. Like, one, yes, I'm going to work. But then, two, I'm going to be a mom. But one, you were never a mom. Two, you never got a job. Mm -hmm. So it's like you just, like, I just wonder, like, was she just going around to each wife and telling them what they wanted to hear in order for them to, like, like her? Well, she had this whole spiel. You know, I was a single mom. I had worked to all the time. Over, had to, you know, work. And, you know, I wasn't used to anybody paying my bills. I had to pay my own bills and all that. So now, and all of a sudden, here I am. And she looks frustrated. Know, and um, I will tell you know, Cody, like, what do I do? Do I just put my bills here? And, you know, they're going to be taken care of and, and whatever. Well, you, you seemed as though you got used to that real quick because all of a sudden all your bills and debts were taken care of and you still had not found this job. I think that's why she started that whole sister wife's closet and stuff. She wanted to seem like she was doing some type of work. See that she was doing something. And then, you know, I, I really did not see her that much with the children, with the other kids. Well, so I just okay. feel like... She refused to live in a house with them. You know what I wonder? I wonder if sometimes she was pretending like, oh, I am trying to find a job. And so that's why you guys kind of have to watch my kids from my Kelty come here and watch my then children. Maybe Cody and her go on little dates. Trying to find jobs. I'm going to try and go find a job. Well, I'm sure my never. best customer. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder, like, just how far they took this stuff. But then she yeah. never, it was like this hope. Hmm. This lie, this hope that she gave, but never really happened. It was like a false hope. Yeah. Robin will find a job. It's going to get easier. That way, the Robin burden wouldn't be all you. on Janelle because you can't depend on Cody because Cody is financially irresponsible. The man has a sports car with 20-something kids. Like, how do you have a sports car with 20 kids? You should be having a mom car so you can help the mothers. He seemed as though he had the most clothes, too. Because Gwendolyn was like... You know, he. I remember all his shirts. He always had these shirts. How do you have more clothes than a woman? I'm confused. There's less fashion options for men, if we're being honest. Well, not for Cody, apparently. <laughs> they different checkered kind of short shirts. I mean, but every time you see, like, whenever I try to get a thumbnail for him or whatever, like, mm -hmm. you kind of always see him, like, on the, like, if you Google Cody, like, Cody angry, Cody mad or whatever, uh -huh. it's usually, like, he's always wearing the same shirt, just, like, a different checkered colored shirt. Yeah. Like, it's never it's any, like, like... shirts, you know? But they're all the same, really. Like, mean, like it's a collar like buttoned up, like, same yeah. silhouette, everything, right. like, nothing it's fancy, not, like, like, you never see him in short sleeves, for real, for real. So, it's just really basic, but I just feel like... I think him and Robin were just lying to everybody from the beginning. Like, those little secrets. It's a little secret. I, yeah. I'll, oh, I'll do that. And and he could have also even told her, hey, yeah, just tell them, you know, you know, we're going to go look for a job. Yeah. But I feel Honey, bad for Janelle. Pretty, to, you're too pretty to too, work. Too cooking clean. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> stuff. Honey, you're too pretty to work. I don't want you out here. They're working. And he may, may have not wanted her to be out there working yeah. because he may have felt like she would have found somebody else who's younger who's more attractive maybe who's richer she might have yeah. found another customer i but feel like at the end of the day cody married robin at a time in his life that i feel like he was ready because he had money i think it's also went through a midlife crisis men go through midlife crisis i think when they have money you think so mm -hmm. 
Because that's when the thing. Usually you do get money, money when they're older. And they get the woman that they feel as though they wanted. He, you know, and yeah, maybe also just midlife crisis because. Because what if you're a man and you, you go to a midlife crisis but you ain't got no money? I mean, how does that work? <laughs> the women who have husbands too don't have money. Just let I me mean, know. That's true. <laughs> that's, that, that is very true. That's right? a very good point. And it kind of seems as though even, but this is kind of has been Cody's MO, right? Right. Um, even when he was with Mary, he was always kind of searching. He, I mean, he said in the, his book that he loves, like he loves the idea of love. Right. He loves love. Which is Whatever. a dumb statement that I feel it is. But anyway, and he loves that. Or he loves like Love should be multiplied, and, not divided. You have to divide your love amongst multiple women. So what are you talking about? <laughs> I never understood that. He should have said love but should be multiplied, like, not subtracted. That yeah. mean that that would have made a little bit more sense. But but what he has been doing is he had Mary was still looking for someone. You know he had Janelle still looking for someone, right? Had Christine. By this time they were actually quite poor, right? They're eating the mildew bread. Had a lot of children, right? And so he he couldn't do much. Didn't have the money to bring anybody else in, even if he wanted to. Because yeah. that's what he had been doing, even when he had very little and had no business bringing anybody else in. He was still doing that. But well, he had two workhorses. Yeah. Now, actually, all of three of them were working at one point. So now it gets to a space where, okay, now they get ready to get all this money. You know, um, ooh, this is a prime time. I have the money now. Yeah. You know? And he brings Robin in. And it's like, this now will be my wife. This is not going to be like this utility relationship. This is going to be that love that I have in my head. Right. Of how it's supposed to be. She'll be my princess. I'll take care of her. Robin is like, he gonna be my, you know, best customer. Whatever, Whatever that, that means. means to her. <laughs> like, that was very odd. Um, and it, it's almost kind of like these women became kind of matronly in this relationship. Like, they were like the mama. The, yeah. The mama bears for Cody. And, 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 and Cody and Robin, they're like the, the two, you know children would kind of have to keep in line or something maybe yeah. in their minds that's why they had their little secrets together yeah um i always feel like but to me it seems like both of them had a, a game in mind yeah like at the end of the day these women were going to be kind of pushed to the side right and that's that's kind of what saddens me though but what also saddens me is janelle because it seems like janelle actually did not want to have all the financial burden on her you yeah. know what seems because it seemed like she actually sorry y'all it seemed like she actually wanted to have somebody also take that on so it's not like so much of her paycheck is going to the family and who had worked before according to robbie robbie says she had been working all of a sudden she want to be a stay-at-home so, mom so I'm like, so what? janelle was like oh this is going to be a really good addition to the family because now we have another worker bee like myself who yeah. doesn't necessarily she probably saw herself in Robin like this is someone who doesn't necessarily want to be like at home mothering children raising yeah. kids right she wants to work right but she, she don't want to do anything but she's no. just lazy she didn't want to do either one of it and she was but not she here for the family all the benefits she wasn't here for the family she was going to focus on Cody yeah because she knew that through Cody she will get her five-year plan established and get the princess lifestyle that she wanted, though she came in with three children as a single mom. Yeah, but in the next video, we're definitely... With other, three other women. Yeah, but in the next video, I definitely want to get into Robin's parenting, like her mothering, because I don't feel like we've ever really, like, dove into it mm. on this channel, because it's, like, a really, really weird, complicated way, like the way she like mothers mm. it's like she's doing it for the kids but that she's really not like you know because but like she's her, going uh, to always put cody first because in her yeah. mind he has provided a lifestyle for for them and for her yeah yeah so i don't know it's weird it's complicated but it's mary
and um, we invite you guys to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Yes.